Hey, what's happening, guys? I'm back from vacation and back on the projects here for the channel. Thank you all for uh, joining me today. And I think what we're going to talk about today is something we've talked about in the past, but we can talk about some more, something that we all need a deeper understanding of, and that is uh, PWM on the Arduino. So let's uh, take a look at these cards I've got here real Sorry, quick. Oh, thank you, Alexa. I didn't ask you anything. All right, so what we have here is our zero volt line minus six volts, six volts, and the Arduino being a digital device outputs five volts or zero volts. That's it. Those are your only choices. Say say you need two and a half volts. Well, a digital device is either on or off, so it can't give you two and a half volts. But there is a way to do it, and that's through PWM. So here is our DC flat voltage of two and a half volts. Now, if we need that out of our Arduino, what we're going to have to do is an analog write to one of the PWM pins. And what the system will then do is it will create a square wave. And for two and a half volts, it's going to be about a 50% duty cycle between five volts and zero volts. And when we average that out, we're going to get two and a half volts. So I've whipped up a little demo here. I hope you guys will enjoy it. Okay. So what we've got here is our Arduino. Let me zoom out a little bit. We've got our Arduino here. And I've got an LED. This is a green LED with a 220 ohm resistor hooked up to digital pin 3, which is a PWM pin so that we can vary the brightness. I have this linear 5K potentiometer hooked up to plus 5 volts in ground and the wiper going to A0. Then I just wrote a simple bit of code that reads the position of the uh, analog potentiometer and it will report back to us, or actually it'll output a PWM value. Now, the Arduino's analog to digital controller is going to read a value between 0 and 1023. The PWM output is between 0 and 255. So we've compensated with that by using the map command. And I'll post the link to the code down below. It's no big deal. Okay. All right. Let's uh, bring in a meter. This is the ANANG. 8008. If you're looking for a low cost meter for home electrical experiments, this thing is awesome. It's like 20 bucks. Okay. It's great. I'll even turn on the light. There we go. Now I have it hooked up here to the output of pin three as well. And the ground goes to my ground rail. So when I add some power here, you can see where we're at. The LED lights up, and you see we're getting 976. Let's put this thing about halfway here. Kind of hard to judge where halfway is, but let's call that close enough. And you see we get 200, 2.5 volts with the potentiometer all the way in that direction. We get 4.72 volts. Why not 5 volt? Well, because there's a resistor on there and other losses. But so what we see is the LED varies in brightness. Well, that's what your eye sees. But what's really happening is that LED is being turned on and off 400 times a second. How do we know that? Well, let's swap over here to our frequency counter function, the Hertz function. And when I bring this up, 
you can see our hertz no matter what position the linear slider is in unless it's all the way forward all I have to do is back off a little bit and we're gonna get 490 so throughout its entire range we're always at 490 Hertz now if you want to change there are some there are some different frequencies you can use check out the uh, at mega AT 328 P data sheet it'll tell you different pins use different frequencies and you can change some uh, multipliers and change those frequencies as well but just for standard work it's 490 Hertz no matter what so if we come over here now and go to duty cycle mode I can illustrate to you how this really works so there's a duty cycle of 2.4 percent that means for 97.6 percent of the cycle that Arduino is outputting zero volts and then for 2.4 percent of the cycle it is outputting 5 volts and when we average everything out, we're getting 126 millivolts. Interesting. Okay, so let's go to halfway, or about, about halfway. And we're now at 67.4%. So it's now changed to more on than off. So we're at 67.4% on. And if we check our voltage... That gives us 3.1 volts. So if we take this down here to just about 2.5, if I can be gentle enough to do it. Try and just the slightest touch. Close enough. And we come back and check our duty cycle. There's 53.3%. Now, if we come over and check the voltage, that's 2.52. If we come up here and go to full, full range, 4.72 volts, and check our duty cycle, we're at 100%. So I hope that kind of illustrates for you guys the relationship between voltage, PWM, and duty cycle, because unless we're at 100%, the frequency is always the same. And if we can come down here, there might just be a spot. Yeah, not really. I was hoping we could get a spot where I could, I, you, the camera would pick up the flickering. But 490 hertz is, is too much for your eye to see. So, PWM. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll put a link to this simple code down below. i also put a link to the ANANG 8008. Again, if you're looking for a very low-cost multimeter, this thing is excellent. Feel free to comment, share, don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. That's it. I'm out. Peace.